Today I'm here at uh, this uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, related event which is organized by the uh, industry of Morocco and uh, uh, we are talking about and um, discussing the effects of artificial intelligence in society and uh, also in the next uh, uh, modes or methods for improving the performance of industrial processes. And uh, for my part, I discussed the uh, future of lithium-ion batteries, especially in, cor in, cor in correlation with the uh, uh, electric vehicles pro projects uh, worldwide, especially in Morocco. As you know, we have two major European companies, uh, Renault and PSA, and they are developing uh, the uh, uh, electric vehicles for the future. <coughs> so Morocco has to be ready for the 2030, 2035, so as we can produce batteries that are adapted to uh, large, very large markets, uh, especially the markets of Morocco where temperatures can uh, exceed 50 degrees C, and 50 degrees C is considered as the limit of uh, battery safety. So we have to uh, deal with the battery safety first and develop methods and processes by which we can uh, keep the safety of the battery uh, at a uh, higher temperature than 50 degrees. So I'm currently working on a project to uh, increase the stability of uh, lithium batteries up to 90 degrees C. And this is another big uh, challenge, uh, uh, technological and scientific challenge. Number two is uh, uh, the reduction of the charging time. So today there is no technology that enables to charge battery from zero to 100% in less than one hour. And uh, so we have developed a method that uh, reduces the charging time uh, to as low as 10 minutes. And this is a revolutionary method that we have tested on uh, a large variety of batteries, and uh, especially batteries for uh, uh, electric cars and uh, scooters and so on. And also for uh, cordless power tools, and this works very well. So we are cutting the charging time by a factor of two, three or four, depending on the batteries. So this is the future. I think uh, for the next 10 years, I will be very busy to <laughs> develop these uh, technologies to adapt to the uh, worldwide markets and especially the Moroccan markets.